we have created the project and it is now also placed up here in the long form in what we call the projects tree. We can click here on the briefcase and say solo view. Now I only have this project up here and it's empty. If I expand this, you see there is nothing in the project. What we will start doing now is to schedule the activities that we need to do to complete this job. And uh, we will do uh, grading, we will do some compositing, flame and sound. So what we will do is that we will take the resources that we have, book them and in this way they will all be added to the project. And they will also carry the rates through. So you will actually be able to now follow the costs of the project as well as what you will sell it for the, to the client. I'm using the long form view because I would like for you to see both when I make the booking in the hour line and how it affects my project in the long form. So first of all, I will choose here the dates. So I will click on my space bar, of course, the space bar. And here I will click on the dates and I want to start working this week, week 35. So I would want to book the first thing on the Monday. That's when we're going to do the grading. So we have Fred. I'm going to book him from 9 to 6. So to do this, you just click on 9 and then you drag all the way until 6 o'clock. And then I will associate this object to my project here. So I'm booking on the post job. And now I book him as a colorist. There you go. And now we get into the booking window. It gives us all the information about the booking. Here you can put a name. And we have created some predefined booking names. And in this case, what we're going to do is the grading. So I will click here on grading. Then you also have the status. It's confirmed. You can create whatever statuses you like. So maybe in your company, the statuses are not called confirmed or preliminary, but here they are confirmed and preliminary. And it's a confirmed booking there. Now I also need for him a station to work at and we will use the base light. So one way of adding this is to just take the base light, you click on the name, click here, and then you drag it on to the other booking that you just created. I will show you again. So I click on the name and I drag it on here and I drop it and I will add base light one. So now I have one booking with two objects and you see the yellow frame around that shows that these two objects will belong to the same booking. And now you also see on the top here that I made a booking here on Monday 24th so that now the project will start adjusting and showing when the project takes place in the long form. So if I now expand you will see that I have the booking grading and inside there I have Fred and base light one. And when I have this here, you see this icon, the briefcase always means project. I can actually click on it and go to the project. So I want to show you what happened now. I click there and here you see the booking. And you see that it's Fred, it's Monday 24th, 9 to 6. And so Fred and base light and this is a nine hour booking. Here we have the total buy and here is the total sell. And out here you see how it adds up. So here you have the line per line per object and out here you will have it added up. So when we will start adding more and more bookings this window will fill up and you will see the total here as well.